But Ten Years in, in the Sun was made uh, during one year, and it was uh, it was made with, with my own pocket money, really. So it was very kind of a hard, uh, gradual process. So I think everything um, everything comes from this kind of aesthetic and approach of filmmaking, you know. So and I I, I, did, I don't work with script at all, you know. I see filmmaking rather than as an exploration, rather than installation, you know, um, illustration, you know. So, uh, so it's I guess perhaps if I call it underground cinema, it's, it's more suitable, you know. So for years, you know, I thought I'll be like an Iranian filmmaker, but immigrant. But now I prefer to call myself an Irish filmmaker. You know, so I don't have any problem with that. And the same goes with experimental, you know. So for years I thought to be like uh, independent filmmaker. Then the, the word independent and indie really makes me sick because everything is not independent. So there is no, it doesn't have value like like, like someone like John Cassavetes in America in late 50s and 60s when he made independent memes, films. But now everything is independent. So I try to get rid of that as well. So the only term I'm a little bit happy, not fully, is, in, is underground. I'm very much interested in films, 50s and 60s science fiction films, someone like uh, uh, Jack Arnold or Ray Harryhausen or producers like George Pal. That's one side of this film. And also filmmakers like uh, Andrei Zulovsky or Tarkovsky, you know, that they have made science fiction as well. So that was my take on science fiction. I try to uh, heavily minimalize and um, reduce narrative structure and bring it down to the ground zero of uh, storytelling and narrative. So what you have is like a series of very atmospheric uh, universe, you know. And it, 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 it's, it's um, interaction between sound and image. So the sound and image are not synchronized. So you have one line of sound and you have image. So it's usually the poetic interaction between these two. So it's very hard to kind of categorize what it is, you know. It, it's, it's, it's very personal work, you know. Um, well, I had a uh, kind of idea in the beginning, a concrete idea. But the way I make films is, is it's so different. I usually start with an idea, but I, as I go along, that idea kind of mutates, and it changes so much. And until the very last day of editing, I really don't know what kind of film I'm going to make. It's, it's really about the process and exploring and discovering myself, you know, as I, as I go along. One, if you're a Hitchcock or crossover or Kubrick, you know in advance what you want. You really know. I don't know anything. Like the film rather controls me than I control the film. And it's practical as well because I don't have big budget. You know, I, I can't demand anything. I cannot hire so many technicians. So it's really about a, a gradual gathering the material bit by bit. And when I have all the material, when I feel that, oh, okay, I have enough material, then I start the post-production. So the post-production is kind of substitute version of script for me, you know. So I do, I decide where should things go, where and stuff like that, you know. So post-production is not just simply an assembly, like assembling the shots, you know. For me, it's just like it has a really aesthetical quality as well. Visual study is extremely important for me, you know. I, I work a lot with loads of, uh, like, a self-configured uh, lenses and um, cameras. I, I also work with lots of different formats as well, such as with VHS format, CCTV footage, Super 8, 16mm, uh, digital SLR. Uh, also, also do lots of capturing and recapturing. I capture on the wall and then I recapture from the TV. So I, tr I try to kind of uh, make a very special texture, you know. I have to, I have to kind of put several layers on. It's a heavily processed kind of imagery, you know. I, I don't like I don't like raw imagery, so it, I try to heavily process it. Cinema itself is a subject for me, so I don't use it to tell stories. I don't believe in that kind of... I love, I love loads of films that tell, telling stories, that's fine. I adore them. But f cinema uh, is not just a, a tool for me. You know, the actual cinema, the machine of cinema is very... It's very much my constant engagement. Films, uh, festivals, like, is extremely important because I don't usually get distributions, you know, so... Like the small opportunities I have is only exist within like cinematic, film festivals, galleries and museums. So everything I have is just actually, you know, exists within these 
premises, you know, within these festivals and stuff like that. And also it's very important the role of uh, Art Council of Ireland and Jamison Film Festivals and other, because they've, they've been extremely kind to me and they supported this kind of work for a couple of years. So uh, without their help, it was simply impossible to make this film. And um, obviously the platform, Gronia Humphrey, uh, she has given me. So it's very much important. Other, otherwise, you know, the only thing you can do is just like put it on Vimeo or video on demand like that. So.